I can see things differently now. I see with music. I see in strokes of color. I see at different speeds. I see life like it's a work of art. But most of all, I see things I never saw before. Man, do I ever. I'd been gone a year, but in some ways I never left. Of course, in one way, I'd never be back. My sister Emily. No one's changed more since I've been gone. She's had a hard year, a lost year. I never realized how much she relied on me. Daisy, you in there, bad girl? This is my mom, Charlotte. She has a great way of making things seem okay, even when they're not. My baby sister Daisy and I still talk all the time. This started when I was in college. She was 11. She still thinks I hear her no matter where I am. Did mom and dad know that you're back? No. Yeah. Where the hell you been? Hey, Mouse. I have not made a decision here. No, just go home. Go. Is he? Well, I'm doing fine, Mom. Thanks for asking. <laughs> My dad, Ben Morgan, is a fighter. For his family, most of all. He's been a cop all his life and loved it until recently. Hey, Dad. And that's me. No, not the handsome, brooding guy with the backpack. That's my brother, Max. I'm in the backpack. My name is Jake Morgan. Tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of my death. In college, I had it all figured out. It took two years of pre-law before I realized I wanted to be a cop like my dad. He was the only one in the family who didn't think I was making a terrible mistake. It was my first day on the job. And my last. Everything happened so fast. I heard a gun go off and that was it. They found this guy, a few feet from my body, just waiting. After I died, the first voice I heard was mom's. Aren't you gonna answer that? And then I realized I could see. Easy. Hey, are you gonna answer the phone? I don't wanna talk to him. What's his name? What's his name? No. What's his name? Daisy. I... Hello? Hey, honey. Ben? 
guys ready? Emily! Emily was away at college in New York, freshman year. We were best friends. She was so full of life, so full of hope. Mom, I'm studying really hard. <laughs> she never went back after winter break. She quit school, quit her boyfriend, everything. The timing could not have been worse. It was a special day. I had chosen to start my career on the same day my dad did 19 years before. So every year we'd share an anniversary. Let me take you home, Ben. Max and Dad chose a day in my service to have a screaming fight. I guess it was their way of mourning. The only problem was this time I wasn't around to help patch things up. Limousine's here, Max. I'm gonna take my own car, okay? Can I ride with you? I kinda wanna be alone, Days. Do you want us to get I'm the... I'm gonna take it. My ashes never made it to my funeral, and neither did Max. He disappeared with the urn without saying a word. Airport, it was vintage please. Max. No one saw it coming. And now a year has passed, and Max was bringing the urn home. My family had no idea that in a few hours, he was going to walk back into their lives. Oh, Joe, come on. Come on. We're in a sardine can. We're parked right outside of my house. Couldn't we try and make my first time a little romantic? Maybe light a candle? Light a candle? <laughs> you said you wanted to avoid cliches. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. I would like two or three cliches included in this. <sighs> I get the feeling your dad doesn't like me very much. Yeah, he doesn't like you. At all. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, excuse me. Hi. 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 Joe Hips, 11th grade. Daisy's big crush. A nice enough guy, but I have my doubts. Put it this way. I'm glad he drives a sardine can and he had to park right outside the house. Is it from your boyfriend? <laughs> You're the boyfriend geek, it's from my brother. He writes? I don't want to hurt from him in like a year. No, not Max, it's from Jake. He wrote me letters from college and I resend them to myself. I think it needs to go a little higher, Gino. Oh, just a little. This is Maggie. I danced with her in the rain at a wedding, and I've loved her ever since. She's the hardest person for me to see because I miss her so much. Great. How does that look to you? Oh, my dog. The race for mayor took an unexpected turn late last night when the leading candidate, Joe Finn, was arrested for allegedly having sex with an underage girl who worked on his campaign. It's just unbelievable. That's why we came to see you, Charlotte. We want you to step in and run for mayor. Me run for mayor? The thought has to have crossed your mind. Well, yes, it, it's come up over the years, but after Jake died, I... You could make a difference, Charlotte. Wait, that's my journal Emily just found. That's bad. That's really bad. Hey, so what's his name? Since when do you keep a journal? Who? Huh? Who'd you see? Uh, what's his name? Ryan? Mm-hmm. You should call him, Em. Might be nice for you to have somebody. Daisy, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but that's not me anymore. 
Well, you might feel better. Or stay antisocial. Whatever. I know what you're doing, Days. I used to do the same thing. Open the window, climb out on the roof for a quick puff. Never thought he was a smoker, though. <laughs> um, okay. I've seen more than enough. They ask if you have any regrets. Yeah, I wish I'd nailed that window shut. Now, you're gonna have to jump in first thing in the morning. I've called your father, you'll meet him. This is a little out of our league. Okay, you guys, I have not made a decision yet. Go home. Missed you at the funeral, Max. Missed Jake at the funeral. I think I can explain. I don't think you can. I know you're not exactly happy to see me right now. Happy to see you? I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. I didn't know if someday you'd turn up dead. How about a phone call? Email? Something? You got any idea what you put your family through? That's why I came back. I was hoping to find a way to make things right again. When, when were things right with you, Max? Remind me. I don't ever remember feeling like things were right with me. I always felt like Jake was right and I was wrong, you know? Yeah, well, you were wrong. We never got to bury your brother, Max. We never got that closure. It should have been me. I should have died. Oh, God. Nah, Jake was perfect, wasn't he? I mean, he was your golden child. I just came along to balance out the scales. You know, this, this black sheep of the family thing played itself out a long time ago, and you know that. Yeah. You know, Dad, I did you a favor by leaving. So that you wouldn't have to look at me every day and be reminded that the good son died. There are things you don't know about Jake, Dad. Things you don't even want to know. He could be a real son of a bitch. I guess we all have that in common, don't we? So Max is back for forgiveness, love, maybe even vengeance. I really don't know why he chose today to come home. You let me in, I'll tell you. Hi. <laughs> Max Morgan. Maggie Jones. Hey, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud dog. You want to get him? <laughs> times I've looked up and thought I saw you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You? Mm. You smell the same. I hope it's a good thing. It's you. It's funny the things you remember about a person. Where have you been, Max? Everybody's been freaked out. Is it in there? The urn? No, it's back at the house now. You've been home then. I'm guessing you need a place to stay tonight. So, what are we going to do with the ashes? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if we're going to bury him or, or keep the urn here at the house. We can't keep him here at the house. We should bury him and move on. Jake's still here, you guys. Jake's still here. 
He's all around. I know he would love it if we did something cool with his ashes. Such as? I don't know. I'll ask That's him. That's enough. Uh, tomorrow, we should celebrate him. Not like woohoo, he's been dead a year, but celebrate his life. Jake loved to celebrate life. This whole family did. Max is back now. This is our chance. Look, we are all just trying to cope in our different ways. And that's ways. fine. That's fine. But don't you get it? We should do something together as a family. I have to get ready for work. So, how'd it go with Max? <clears throat> hey, Jake. Well, the urn with your ashes is in the other room. What should we do with them? How should we celebrate? I don't know, it's just... We need something that's gonna bring us back. Oh. <laughs> and I, uh, almost lost my virginity today. Did you already know that? Almost? No, I didn't know that. Hey, you in there, bad girl? <laughs> yeah, well, we had Max's interrupt us. It was a minor setback. But, uh, don't freak out, Jake. Because I'm so sure about Joe. He's the one. Joe hit? What? You don't even know him. I know lots of him. Not lately. Let me borrow some perfume. No, get your own. You're the one making the mad cash at work. I'm saving up to move out. Say hey to Jake for me. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I love you, Jake. P.S. The bitch says hey. Honey, I had an interesting meeting today. About the mayoral campaign. Oh, you heard about the 16-year-old, huh? Oh, yeah. Couldn't miss it. Uh, they want me to step in and run for mayor. I told them that I wanted to talk to you about it. And, uh, it starts tomorrow. Well, you do what you gotta do, Charlotte. I'll be fine either way. So you wouldn't feel betrayed? Betrayed? No. Well, I know how you feel about that whole world. Nothing I can't handle. Yeah, uh, Dad would be involved. Well, I knew there had to be one drawback. Emily needs connection. Otherwise, she just drifts. Sometimes into places like this. It's called Marlowe's. A dozen Fanny Bays, Mr. Gennaro. Would you like me to live in them for you? Actually, I'd much prefer it if you join Claire and me for a dance. You know I'm not interactive, Mr. Gennaro. I just expedite the oysters. Lemon, then? I prefer them naked. <laughs> I know why she ended up here. She just wanted to be someplace where nobody knew her. Where people wouldn't just look at her and see a tragedy. You look so familiar. What's your name? Start with yours. Gideon. Where are you from? Here. I know you. I know I know you. Vassar. You go to Vassar? At the moment, no. <laughs> Sorry. Bad question. We were in a philosophy seminar. You asked me out once. Wait. Emily. Emily Morgan. And you lived in Raymond. Davison. Glad I made such a strong impression. You lost your brother. Sorry, I... It's okay. Can I get you anything else, Gideon? Thanks for letting me stay here tonight. I found 
dog is hot, I see you. Yeah, a bone dog's a man. Does she still have a thing for that, uh, the neighbor's dog? What was her? Supergirl. Supergirl, yeah. She moved to LA. Oh, <laughs> poor Supergirl. <laughs> start next. I'm sorry you lost someone you love. Life's so quiet now. I loved you so much, Max. Loving you scared me to death. With, with Jake, I was never scared. He's so solid. I always felt so safe. I hated him for that. Max and Maggie. I should have said that before we were together. They were together. But she chose to be with me. Is that why you came home, Max? To steal my girl? <sighs> See, that's why being dead sucks. I can't kick my brother's ass right now. Owen Foster. My grandfather. And a political animal. He always wanted mom to follow in his footsteps. Now he's got his chance. Ben, I need you to put on a suit. We'll need you to wear it at today's press conference. I knew this was gonna be a mistake. This is about selling a dream. We are selling the dream of American royalty and nothing can be overlooked. Everyone has to be on their best behavior. The spotlight's gonna be on this family again, but this time, God willing, it'll be for something positive. I gotta question the timing of this press conference. I mean, Jake died a year ago today. It's a terrible day to remember. I know. But we're standing again, Ben. That's what this is about. This is a big day, too. Did you sleep? A guy on a hard couch. What are your plans? I don't know. Max, last night, we kissed. I don't know what you about to say it was a mistake. I don't know what it was. But you need to find somewhere else to sleep. You can't stay here. There's just too much here, too much between us. The three of us. Maggie, there's, we're just two people. There's still three. Feeling scared again. Please, Max, find somewhere to stay tonight. I feel like doing something crazy. Uh oh. I feel like buying you lunch. On your salary? Come on, it's a big day. I know you don't want to celebrate, but 20 years is 20 years. Congratulations, Ben. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's Eddie Marble, the guy they found by my body. He's under investigation for my murder. He's visited my grave a lot this last year. We weren't exactly friends, but I knew Eddie. That's one of the things that nobody knows. Check you out, Mayor. Okay, ask me questions. Uh, what's for dinner? Mm -mm. Like you guys are reporters. What's the capital of Chicago? What's the state of Florida? Okay, you guys aren't invited to my party. What are you up to, you freak? What's up with the limo? Transfer to the press conference. Mom's running for mayor. Really? 
I hope she wins. Why? So we get to live our lives under a microscope? Well, maybe it's what she needs right now, you know, to do. Hey, where's Dad? Come in. Hey. So, how's Maggie? I didn't come to fight. Good. I want to show you something. Yeah? What's that? Where you go, Ben? You got it. Just a sec. What you got in the envelope? You're busy. No. What is it, Max? No, it's all right. I can wait. It's not important. Press conference. Mom always wanted to help people. And she will. But this could help her, too. Speaking of your family, how will you celebrate? It's a little early for that. I haven't won anything yet. No, I'm talking about Detective Morgan's anniversary. 20 years on the police force. We're breaking out the donuts and coffee, spare no expense. Shut up! Help me! Oh, the back door. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea. Can you say hi to my parents on your way in to have sex with their daughter? <laughs> Anything else? Hey, you're back again. I didn't like how we left things last night. Can we talk? You know what's weird? I can hear him. What do you mean? I mean, I can't hear him, like, talking or anything, but one night, right off campus, they were demolishing this building. And I could hear this avalanche of bricks and concrete and the tinkling of breaking glass. And after a while, I started to feel like the sound was coming from inside my body. I could hear a building being demolished inside my body, and I can't explain it. All I could think was it was Jake, that Jake was making that sound inside my body. And it made me feel like he was with me. And I hear that sound every time I think about him. You know, some, sometimes it's just a pop, like the way a light bulb breaks. That's Jake now. I know, it's weird, right? Did I freak you out? I never told that to anyone. What did you say? When I asked you out in college. I said I'd get back to you. <laughs> right. The way I died was complicated. That's why the police can't build a case against Eddie Marble. But Max doesn't care about evidence. He's looking for revenge. Sir, you want to hold it right there, please? Sitting. Are you okay? Do you really think he's still here? Who, Joe? Jake. Yes, I do. How? I don't know. 
I just believe. It's not even like a choice. It's a gift. It's a little early for that. I haven't won anything yet. No, I'm talking about Detective Morgan's anniversary. 20 years on the police force. We're breaking out the donuts and coffee. And... Forget it, Cheryl. No, I... I don't know what to say. I, I... I am so sorry that I forgot. I just got wrapped up in... Oh, God, I feel terrible. I... Cheryl, I understand. <laughs> so anyway, after the press conference, I ran out, you know, tail between my legs and tried to get you tickets for tonight's game, but they were... I don't know, you know, they were just playing some horrible team, and I just... I had to make a decision, right? <laughs> you made it to the end. <laughs> Let's not let go, okay? Ben, it's Sergeant Ruiz. We picked up Max outside Eddie Marbles. We're holding him here at the station. Okay. Don't worry. Don't. What? Just sit down, okay? Okay. Hey. Don't. Damn, what? Why are you being so... Mm. I want to do this. Well, yeah, obviously. Don't you? Well, yeah, but I love you. I love you too. I'm just feeling like this isn't right, you know? Like maybe there's a reason that it hasn't happened yet. You know, maybe there was signs. Don't start with any of that cosmic crap, Daisy. Are we going to do this, yes or no? Yes. Just not now. Come on, Daisy. It's not an ever. What? No, no. So you're saying you're gonna break up with me if I don't have sex with you right now? I never. Come on, Daisy. You can go now. You're a freak, you know that? Yeah, whatever. I mean it. Crazy. Sending yourself your brother's letters, talking to him, seeing signs, all that, it's a joke. You know what, do me a favor and don't let my parents see you on your way out. Oh, don't worry. This isn't the first bedroom I've snuck in and out of. It's not even the first one this week. Max couldn't show this to Dad. Daisy will get it. Curious, huh? Yeah. Well, here's all you need to know. That kid is a suspect in a murder trial, and I'm not gonna let you or anybody else screw that up. You get me? I didn't do anything. I don't to care. Him. Who knows what he might have done? Well, you stay away from that kid. Please, Emily, put the journal down. The truth about me and Eddie Marble is in there, and you don't want to know. Oh my 
my God. Gideon? I know it's after midnight and the anniversary has passed, but I don't think that Jake minds a belated ceremony. So I know we've all wondered where Max has been all year. I guess he didn't know how to tell us. He needed to show us. Paris. Ian, Jake, we're in Paris. <laughs> Where did you find me? <laughs> Jake always said he wanted to spend a year in Paris. So, we did. Truth is, we were both ready to come home. At least I was. How were the coffee and donuts? I wasn't in the mood. Congratulations, anyway. 20 years, it's pretty amazing. Thanks. Your uh, photographs, your work, blows me away. So maybe Max came back for revenge. Or maybe he came back for Maggie. But he also came back for this. Our family. They say the mark of a true masterpiece is that you can look at it for hours, days, years, and it forever continues to reveal itself. That's how I feel about my family. It's a masterpiece in the making, and I can't stop watching.